All right, so we're going to be learning about the sound library here in DaVinci today, which is a cool feature that allows you to browse a ton of audio files without actually importing them into your project all the time. So it's pretty awesome. So anyways, I'm here in DaVinci, and here's our sound library. So you can click to open that up. So right here, these are going to be where your results come in, and you can basically search for audio files. However, you need to link those audio files. All of these audio files have to be on your computer. What it is doing, it's searching a folder that you connect for all the audio files that you have in it. So if you have your own audio library, something you downloaded, something that you've made, you can go ahead and add it with these option buttons right here. So click on this, click add library. Now, mine is located over here and you can see I have the sound library now when I click on this and select folder it's going to search that entire folder and all subfolders everything in there for audio files so everything in this folder is going to look for audio files um, so if you select it um, let me go ahead and click that it's going to say would you like to rescan a path now I've already added my audio files here so it's asking me do you want to rescan? And I'm going to go ahead and click yes. So uh, it said it found zero clips because I've already added it. So basically, each time you add additional audio files, you have to report, import that entire library. What it's going to do, it's going to rescan for the new audio files. So this does not update live, okay? It's going to only, you have to manually update it every time you add a new audio file to this folder, all right? Or it's not going to show up, all right? So. Um, basically, now that I have your, now that you have your audio files imported, you can go ahead and search. Basically, it's going to search uh, the actual file names, and it's going to search metadata as well. So um, you can click this. This is an extra option. I don't fully understand uh, the databases here. Uh, I wouldn't just just leave that alone, and you'll be good. Uh, and then you can see you can filter by name, description, if your file has a description, which most of mine don't, and then all fields. So we'll just click by name, and we can click uh, elevate. Well, I'm not doing that right. Elevator. Elevator music one. So now I can click on it. If I double click on it, you can see it starts playing through here. And then go ahead and click an endpoint. Actually, I'm going to start in the beginning here. So I can set an endpoint. I can fast forward a little bit. And then uh, using your uh, J and L keys, you can fast forward or uh, back, back up. And now with those in and out points, I can go ahead and drag that directly into my film. And you can see it's been imported. Now, if you go to your actual media pool, you will see that the elevator music has been imported. Now, it's going to import these audio files to whatever bin you have stored. So if you want to go ahead and click right click new bin and call this sounds. Now, if you have this selected and open when you go to your sound library. Now, if you go, uh, let's say music. Let's see what else I have. If I have a news intro, if I drag this in, now you'll see it imports it into the sounds bin. So uh, it's really useful if you want to set up a bin, click on it, you can put all your audio files in there that you import through here. So it's really cool. None of these are being imported directly. You're able to browse them. You can even rate them right here. So I can go ahead and say this isn't very great audio file. I'm gonna just rate it with a three. So in the future, I can know uh, how much I like this audio file. So it's kind of an interesting feature. I kind of like it. Uh, you can see you get uh, more info about each file. Um, so these are the in and out points. These buttons just literally just go from the next audio file to the to the next. Um, so everything else is pretty self-explanatory. Um, so I hope you like it. You can also sort uh, just covering all the features. So this just changes how how it sorts the audio files. So that's about it. So uh, remember, each time you add a new audio file to that thing, you have to go up here and click and add that whole folder again and it'll rescan it for any new audio files that's important so yep that's about it so i hope this tutorial was helpful um make sure to like comment and subscribe please when you subscribe hit that bell right next to the subscribe button that way you get notifications when i upload a new tutorial so anyways thank you go create something awesome and here's my outro that doesn't work because of my aspect ratio so, just imagine that there are links here.
and subscribe.